a single German aircraft flew a secret mission over the British Isles. On board was a First World War veteran, a Nazi spy, codename Gilka. His mission was to make contact with Nazi collaborators. Together, they were to execute Plan Kathleen. Gilka floated silently down beneath his parachute and touched down in the Irish Republic. His aim was to plan the Nazi invasion of Northern Ireland. Those collaborators he was meeting? A group of Irish terrorists, the IRA. And so would begin one of the most bizarre stories of Nazi collaboration of World War II. In terms of the IRA's history, that collaboration or attempted collaboration is now really an embarrassment. To a large extent, it appears in retrospect as comedy and or tragedy, depending on your point of view. It's a series of events that the IRA would rather forget. It would lead to unbearable tension between the British and Irish governments. And if the plan had succeeded, it could have lost Britain the war. So why did the IRA collaborate with the Nazis? Was it just clear-cut hatred for the British? Had they been seduced with promises of a united and independent Ireland? And did they really understand the kind of people they were dealing with? <laughs> 